Hey, this is Steve Gill with your Daily Notes video edition for Wednesday, April 28, 2010. Well, the illegal immigration debate is heating up with Arizona passing a new law to actually enforce the laws when it comes to illegal immigration. Well, this has a lot of the loonies on the left screaming and pitching a hissy fit. The mayor of San Francisco has declared that there will be no official travel from San Francisco to Arizona for the foreseeable future. The president of Mexico is screaming and claiming that this is an affront to Mexicans everywhere and that wherever a Mexican is, it's Mexico even though Mexico actually has more harsh illegal immigration laws than the United States. Maybe we should just adopt Mexico's laws and enforce those, and maybe that would make President Calderon happy. But the craziest of the boycott ideas comes from the loony left in the blogosphere, who are calling for a boycott of Arizona tea. Now, at first glance, that might make some sense, except for the fact that Arizona tea was founded in New York, in Brooklyn, in 1992. That's right, Brooklyn, New York, not Brooklyn, Arizona. Then they moved to Queens. New York, still not in Arizona, and they recently moved into a $35 million facility in Nassau County, New York. Arizona tea, except for the name, has absolutely nothing to do with Arizona. So all these people that are preaching that Arizona tea is the tea of fascists are kind of missing the boat. They're encouraging people to drink Lipton tea or Snapple, apparently unaware that Snapple got their big push when Rush Limbaugh was promoting Snapple. So if the lefties want to boycott Arizona tea and punish New York, for Arizona enforcing the law, all power to them. Meanwhile, I'm going to Cold Stone Creamery and eating some ice cream because Cold Stone Creamery is actually based in Arizona. So drink up, eat up, but do it at Cold Stone Creamery and show some support for Arizona. I'm Steve Gill. That's your Daily Notes for today. You can find more details and more of the backup at gillreport.com.